Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin. I welcome you all to my brand new beginner series of Power Apps. The series is dedicated to all the beginners who are adding their first step to the world of Power Apps. This is the complete start to end beginner series. The series has 20 different episodes and at the end of the series you will be having enough knowledge to work with live projects. So before we get started, let me give you little bit introduction about myself. Myself Dhruvin Shah and I am working as Power Platform Specialist and Microsoft 365 Developer at Gujarat Ahmedabad. I am active blogger, speaker, YouTuber and author. I have written 120 plus articles on different technologies like SharePoint, Office 365, Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate and Power Virtual Agents. I have developed 380 plus tech videos on different Power Platform, ASP.NET, SharePoint and PowerShell. So you can visit my YouTube channel for more detail. I have developed so many different tech series as well like I especially build dedicated series for AI builder in Power Apps as well as SharePoint Spaces, Power Virtual Agents, etc. I am rewarded three times C Sharp Corner MVP award for my constant contributions towards the technology. Here are my social media handles details where you can connect me. You can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn URL and my Twitter handle and this is the official page of my Facebook account, right? So you can connect me on all of these social media platform. Now, first of all, let me tell you why I made this course. The course is designed specifically for beginners. We know lots of the materials are available on the web to learn power apps. But whenever any newbie came to the world of power apps, they are confused like where to start. And, and which direction we need to go. This course is focused more on the real life projects and examples. Here I tried my best to cover everything that is needed to work in a live project and I designed that in a such a manner that at the end of the course you will be able to work in live project. Right? One more thing I want to add here like this series is specifically dedicated for Power Apps Canvas app. So if you are referring to model driven app or Power Apps portal, this series is not for you. This series is something which is totally focused on Power Apps Canvas app. Here I explain different base practices and real life example. The entire series covers 20 different episodes and which is absolutely free and available exclusively on my YouTube channel. So try to share with more with your friends and colleagues who are new in in the world of power platform and specifically into power apps canvas app so i hope you will love the series now let me give you the overview about this course which are the 20 chapters and what we are going to cover during this entire course let me explain you this thing in detail so first of all we will get started with the introduction of power apps then we'll get started with the power apps development process after that we will start with customizing the sharepoint list form with the power apps then we will be talking about standalone Power Apps Canvas app and then we'll talk about difference between Canvas app versus customized SharePoint form app. During chapter 6, we will be building our first Power Apps Canvas app with the help of a real life example which is leave management system. Then we'll develop new form and edit form into Canvas app. Then we'll check how we can develop grid within the Power Apps Canvas app. Then we'll check the different design components of the canvas app and check the difference between data table and gallery into power apps. After that, we will implement search and sort feature with our power apps canvas app grid. Then we'll implement role in power apps canvas app to manage our different live management roles. Right? So we are going to talk more about the roles things over there. After that, will connect our power apps with Microsoft Flow and we'll talk about the deep link implementation in Power Apps Canvas app. Once we are done with our development process, we will be publishing our Power Apps Canvas app and at last we will share the Power Apps Canvas app among the set of users. 
right now our app is developed now we want to make our uh, app from one tenant to another tenant or there is a possibility that our development tenant is different and our production tenant is different then we need to do export import of our power apps so we are going to talk about exporting and importing power apps canvas app from one tenant to another tenant these are the different 20 chapters that we are going to cover throughout this journey so hope you will be with me throughout these 20 chapters and at the end of the 20 chapter you are able to work with any live project of Power Apps Canvas app. Stay tuned with me throughout the journey. Thank you so much for watching this series. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving new updates from my channel to your whatsapp number if you wish to have any consultancy or any business inquiry or corporate training connect me on my whatsapp number which is plus nine one nine five three seven nine eight one four six seven stay connected with me have a great day goodbye